really is amazing the technology they can build into digital cameras nowadays, especially the point and shoots. The nice thing about the point and shoot uh, cameras, uh, I've got one here from Canon, is that uh, they make things really easy. There's a lot of automatic settings here, but there are some manual settings as well. If you want to take that to a whole new level, I want to show you today a hack that gives you complete and utter control of all the features on the camera that you never thought you had. They've actually got a, a community that have developed the uh, CHDK, the Canon Hack Development Kit. And don't worry, it won't screw up the camera whatsoever. We're gonna be updating the firmware on the camera and uh, we won't be doing it right into the camera itself. We'll be doing it via the SD card or the memory card where you typically store the pictures. The first thing that we want to do is find out what version of firmware that you do have on your camera. And again, this is for people that want to take complete control of the camera. I guess more of a, a prosumer. So essentially, we go to the, uh, the CHDK wiki site here, and here I've got the step-by-step -step instructions. I don't know what firmware I have yet. I just need one of these files because that uh, particular file I was talking about is in all of these. I'm just going to drag and drop that file over. Do, 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 do. So once that's on there, I'm going to take the SD card out and I'll put it back in the camera. This is going to help us determine what the firmware is of the camera. And what I want to do now is put it down to the playback mode. So not the camera mode, but right down to the playback mode. Turn the camera on. And from here, I want to hold down the function. It's the button right in the middle of the cursor pad and the display key at the same time. And right there, it says firmware version GM1.028. You'll want to write that down because we need to go back to the website to get the proper file. Take the SD card out once more because we need to put some more files on this little guy. Put that back into my computer card slot here. So going back to that file page, and there it is, 1.02a. This is the exact file that I want to download. And once I've done all that, just take it out. We're going to put the card back into the camera, hit the menu, and from here, I want to make sure that I'm in that play menu. I can go down, and there's an option here called firmware update. And again, you don't have to worry about wrecking the camera. It's only taking the firmware off of the actual memory card. It's not writing it into the camera itself. So I hit OK, and it's asking me, update the firmware? Yes. This just takes uh, literally a couple seconds. You can see it's working right now. So I just hit this little shortcut button up here. You can see the little alt down on the screen. And now I get an alternative menu with a lot more functionality. Check that out. I've got all sorts of new controls that uh, this point and shoot can do. Imagine now you can actually take raw picture files. I have zebra parameters. I've got a calendar. I even have games as well. I can go and play reverse eye. I can actually play games on my, my camera. And this is kind of cool too. I'm just going to go back to the camera mode. And I've got extra things here. Check this out. I can see the exact percentage of battery life I have left. I also have the exact amount of memory that's on the SD card, the memory card. Over here, I've got uh, things like the temperature of the camera, even the time as well. And these are all extra functions that uh, that firmware has given me. You'll spend literally hours trying all these new features. And again, you don't have to worry that you've monkeyed up your camera. If you don't want to do that stuff anymore, you basically uh, just take it back to the regular menu and you're uh, good to go. So, you know, obviously we've had to jump through a few hoops to make this work, but once it's done, your Canon camera has a whole set of new functions that you could only dream of. Gotta get, gotta get, gotta get.